Real Country 1430 AM and 107.3 FM WRDN. I'm Brian Winnikins from the NAFB Convention, and thank you to our uh, broadcast sponsors, including Annabis Silo, also Alcivia Co-op, Osseoplastics, Wisconsin uh, fin- uh, Farmers Union, and Compere Financial. And joining us uh, today from Compere Financial, Mark Greenwood. And uh, we're going to talk with uh, Mark a little bit about markets and how we should diversify risks and get ready for the 2022 uh, season as well, not only for planting but also operating loans and that sort of thing. And Mark, thank you for uh, joining us today. And again, thank you to Compere Financial for being one of our uh, farm sponsors as well. Uh, It's been an interesting last couple of years for farmers, but they've been able to kind of get balance sheets changed to the positive. And so there's some things that they should be thinking about to keep it that way, right? Yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. You know, and when you look at the last couple of years, you're kind of going, it's hard to believe what we've actually been able to improve our financial position through these these crazy times. But I think where we'd be at, and our computer team members do a great job of working with clients along the way, making sure that you're proactive, have a good relationship with your lender, explain kind of where you're currently at financially, make sure you're working with your financial officer, and help really establish a plan for 2022. And that's the big thing is, is to, to, to kind of stay ahead of this train. Let's start working now and going through balance sheets and going through that operation because we have a lot of things coming down the line with increases and in input costs and that sort of thing that we do have to keep in mind. Absolutely. And the buzzword right now is the thing called inflation. And so, so what is actually going to be my break even on my whether my dairy my operation or my crop operation to make sure that you're – uh, fully understand on that, how might that impact your balance sheet going forward for 2022 and making sure you're taking advantage of some potential risk management strategies, where, whether it's using dairy margin coverage on the dairy side or uh, DRP as well. Uh, we have some of our insurance specialists that do a great job of that. In addition to that, with uh, on the crop side, crop prices are really strong right now. Basis historically are much wider than what we've seen. Uh, we're much narrower on our basis, which is nice to see for grain farmers as well. Talking with uh, Mark Greenwood from Compere Financial. Again, uh, you can uh, talk with uh, the staff at the Compere Financial offices in western Wisconsin, including Mondovi and Arcadia Baldwin and, and Rice Lake. And that's the one of the big things that farmers are wanting to uh, maybe go through and review some of this stuff. You'll even come out to the farm. You know, I, I think uh, that's probably one of the things that we pride ourselves on is having the ability to come out to your farm because I think once you come out to the farm, you get a better understanding of what's actually happening on your operation. And then I think most farmers are more comfortable of talking on the farm than coming into an office, and we love to do that. And, with the, with the again, with everything coming up, it's probably – sooner than later is, is the the buzzword here we want to get this start working on this now yeah and of course there will also be tax planning because you got this little thing called uh, year-end tax planning for sure make sure you get to talking to your financial officer uh, sooner than later uh, you got some holidays in between our staff does everything we uh, possibly can and make sure we're doing everything possible to take care of you as clients but tax planning is another very important part of uh, what we try to do with our clients now mark i'm gonna i'm gonna put you on the spot here because you mentioned that inflation word so your crystal ball we're gonna look into mark's crystal ball interest rates are they gonna go the same as the price of fertilizer, are they going to go up? I think they're going to go up, but not in a stratospheric manner. I mean, I think it, it, they're going to go up. Uh, you know, what we're hearing from uh, some industry experts that, you know, I'd say the the Fed, Fed funds rate will probably might potentially have three increases next year, which would be about three quarters of a percent. Now, we're at historically low levels. In addition to that, you look at long-term rates where are still at, levels that are from a historical perspective and you're talking to a guy that's got receding hairline and gray hair so he's he's seen a lot more higher rates in the past so take advantage of those long-term rates to lock in some rates that actually kind of cushions you from some potential uh, inflationary uh, interest rates going forward so so we're, we're not you know i have the receding hairline too so i remember back in the early 80s so do I. you know that that we're, we're not going to see that no we won't um you know but you know you, you could see uh you know 
we got interest rates on real estate probably in a, in the high threes to low fours, which is still crazy rates. But yeah, could they get to five to six percent? But that does add up on a cost of production. So you're had at a great opportunity today to lock up some rates, and there's a blended variety of products that we can offer uh, at, at Compare for and tailor make them uh, to your operation. So again, talk with uh, Ann and the staff at the Compure uh, Financial Office, uh, not only in Mondovi, but also Arcadia, Baldwin, and Rice Lake. Uh, we are at the NAFB convention. I'm Brian Winnikins for WRDN.